Kyle Bingaman. Hey, good evening, everybody, from Juniata Stadium. Tonight, the Trojans have traveled over the river and through the woods here to meet these rough and tough Juniata Indians here at Juniata in a big, big ball game for both ball clubs. The coin has been tossed. Upper Dolphin, I think, has uh, the honor of kicking off, I believe. Well, I'm not sure how I interpreted this, but we'll find out here in just a moment. Anyway, it is one magnificent night for football up here at Juniata. My goodness, it is just beautiful up here. And uh, just a nice night. Should be an excellent ball game. The uh, Trojans coming off a loss last time out when they were nipped at home against those uh, Lion Mountain Eagles. But uh, tonight, they're going to see if they can't get it back on track here against a real tough red class, uh, uh, red clad football team here, these Indians of Juniata. So uh, <clears throat> the Trojans will indeed kick off as um, Sulio has her tip uh, teed up here, getting ready for the opening kick of tonight's ball game. And as I said, uh, a good crowd over here for Juniata, as you might expect. The Juniata Indians coming into tonight's ball game with a record of 6-0. and Perfect season going here for these Indians. And uh, UD is going to try to see if we can mess that up a little bit tonight. And I think we have an excellent chance of doing that. So let's see if we can get them deep. We have that Wagner kid to keep an eye on tonight for the Indians. Jeremy Wagner is back to uh, receive this kick along with Smith. Here's the kick. Not going to be very deep. Take it out here and fumbled. And let's see who's got it. <clears throat> Looks as though the Indians have recovered the fumble at about the 35-yard line or 32-yard line. And we have timeout now as we have an injury on the initial kick. It looks like uh, we have an injured Trojan. We'll be right back. John Campbell, the young fellow, shaking up on the play. Doc Bauer will now come out there and join Coach Ayers as they check out to see what's going on. And we have another, perhaps, physician coming out here also. So, my goodness, on the initial kickoff. have that injury so we're going to find out uh, how John is and uh, now another man coming out here so don't like the looks of this but nevertheless we'll be back here in just a moment <laughs> take a look back here while we have this injury timeout see if I can figure out what happened to uh, Campbell now he's going to get no I won't because now he's going to get up and he's going to walk off on his own power so that's good and some a real apprehension there connected with that injury, but he looks like he's going to be okay. And that's a great sign, so we'll continue on with the ball game now. It'll be first and ten for Juniata on their first uh, attempt from scrimmage. The ball will be placed at the 31 or 2 yard line. This field up here is noted for not being able to see very well as far as the line of scrimmage goes. But boy, here's Number a nice 30, stop after a gain of, Moby, of maybe one. Iams with the carry, stopped in there initially by um, Stinscombe and Hoover, the making the stop in there for UD. Picked up a yard, be second and nine. Trojans are without the services tonight of number 56, uh, Dustin Mace. So Dustin picked up a bell ringer last week against those uh, Lion Mountain Eagles, and Dustin is uh, just uh, going to be taking a night off. QB wants to throw one, fires one out here to that number 29, Wagner. Wagner's got it, and he'll rumble ahead here for the first down. The way it looks as uh, Book, the quarterback, it's Jeremy Wagner. And Wagner, who can both run, catch, probably throw, <laughs> is uh, able to pick up the first down, a gain of about 10 on the play. Ball will be spotted at about the 43-yard line of uh, Juniata. First and 10. <clears throat> Book the QB in the slot over this way is that Wagner. Back to pass goes Book. May set a screen up. Has a man out here. It's intended for Wagner, but overthrown. And oh, bring up a second and ten. Jeremy could not possibly reach high enough for that one as Book's pass kind of glided on him and uh, falls incomplete. Second down and ten. UD on the uh, defensive side of things out here is Wrestler right in the center there, along with Zaharovic. That's that Sulio guy. And we'll pick up some rest of these fellas after a while. Kind of set it up on the short side of the field. Pitches over here for Wagner. Wagner picking his way ahead for some good yardage, picking up nearly nine on the play. 
It'll be short of the first down by maybe a yard, the way it looks from here, or depending on where they spot it. Yeah, about a half a yard short. Bring up third down and less than one for the first down. So. Eight on the play, third down. <clears throat> third and a short yard. Anyway, uh, Bingaman, number 15 in there, along with uh, Bauer on that defensive unit, number 26. Looking for a yard, they are. Here's a handoff to the second man through, and boy, he's got some good running room as he has finally stopped out there after a nice gain. Coming up to make the number stop on him is uh, Sean uh, Ladenschläger, I believe it was, making the stop. A low tackle there in the backfield. It'll be first down for Juniata now at the 38-yard line of a UDA. The Trojans going to have to really dig it in here now. Juniata explosive football team. Puts a lot of points on the boards, and uh, UD not trying to uh, allow that to happen tonight. Book's going to throw one. Looking. Got some good protection. Fires one out here. Complete to number 24, who is tackled almost oh, immediately. Coming up there, Dave Shell, who is in there along with Bauer, David P. Shell of Likens. Of Able to play. bring him down that time. Second Dave's down. in there for that uh, mace. So uh, Dave has his hands full tonight out there as he is going to uh, see a lot of action tonight. <clears throat> and that's good. Dave loves it. He loves to play this ball game. And, and uh, he'll do well. Motion will come over this way. Hand off and go up the middle with number 30. He's got about maybe number three. Himes with a carry that time. Stopped in there again, this time by Grave and uh, number 40 out there. Uh, whip, uh, four on the play. Aaron Hoover, number 40 in there on the stop, uh, also on that last play. Wagner in motion. Wagner gets the pitch. Tries to swing it around the left side. He's going to have to try to beat a couple of Trojans over there, and they knock him out of bounds. Knocked out of there by Wagner, along with uh, Stinscombe. But he is knocked out of there after a first down, so Wagner has not really been stopped much tonight on his first series at all, as he gets a lot of running room around his side over there and uh, has picked up some big yardage every time he's had the football. Now we're going to have to close it up if we can. We've got eight and a half minutes remaining here in period number one. First threat of the ball game for the Indians. 24 will set up in the backfield. And a handoff is again to Wagner. Wagner dragged down from behind nicely this time with some good pursuit out there by that number 40, Byron Hoover. Once again, a nice stop in there by Byron coming up and making the tackle. Stopped him after a loss of a yard or so. Excellent defensive play. We need a little more of that, boys, and we'll be all right. Second down and uh, a long... 11, not quite 12, but second down about 11. Ball now at the uh, 23-yard line of UDA. <clears throat> Funny wrestler in the middle. Quarterback Book's going to keep this one up the middle. He goes with it. Boy, he'll be glad he did because he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the 8 for 7-yard line. Gabe Book, Book with a big run gives the Indians a first and goal from about the seven-yard line. First and goal for the First Indians. and goal Indians. Well, that time the Trojans had all the basic runners covered, I guess, and kind of left uh, Gabe Book alone in there, and he had a nice hole right over that right tackle spot, and boy, picked up some good yardage down to the eight. First and goal from the eight. Here's a pitch over here for that 24, and he's going to cut it inside for six. So we've only played a minute and, or rather, uh, Four minutes and a half, and he takes it in. Huff, and that time, takes it in for six. It's 6 nothing, Juniata, and the extra point try coming up. Juniata will try to kick an extra point here now. Let's see how successful they might be. Good snap. Placement's down. Kick is up. Kick is, no, is good. Yeah, it is. All right, so we have a 7 nothing ball game. 7.28 left here in the first quarter. Upper Dolphin will get the ball back for the first time this evening, and we'll see if our offense is going to be gelled well tonight. We'll check that out here in just a moment. Tingler will do the kicking for the uh, Indians of Juniata. Shadle and Bauer are back, or Shadle and, uh, yeah, Bauer back deep to receive this kick from Spangler. 
So it's a 7 nothing ball game, but UD getting a chance right now to come back and get right back in this one. Buffington will be at quarterback when we get it going here. Here's the kick coming over this side. Bauer's going to take it at the 15. To the 20 and then to the 25. And Matt dragged out at about the 20. Let's see, where is he? About the 28-yard line. Matt brought it back to about the 28. It'll be first and 10 for UD on their own 28-yard line. Takes over first and 10 from their own 28-yard line. Receivers out there will be mainly uh, Wagner and uh, Pingaman. They'll both flank out in the backfield. We have Stinscombe number 42 at the fullback spot and uh, Nathan Shadle. Pass on the first play. Buffington fires one over the middle. It is complete and a nice catch and a fine job indeed out there to that uh, Kyle Bingaman. Kyle with a nice catch tackled out there by Wagner of the uh, Indians. But a really nice pass play and a great slant in pattern run by Bingaman and Buffington right on the money with that one. So Jimbo zing that one in there very nicely. Same lineup here now. We'll spread it out a little bit. Same lineup from scrimmage. Back to pass, he goes again. Fires one over the middle this time. It is caught by Wegner. Aaron Wegner with a fine catch. So Buffington two for two. Another first down as Wagner takes the ball down to the 42-yard line of the Indians. So they're going to keep it on the ground. We'll try the air. <clears throat> See what we can do with this one now. It must be moved immediately. A red Dodge on a first and ten for UDA. Handoff up the middle with it goes Shadel. Bumps ahead for maybe a yard or two. It could have got a little more that time, but kind of ran into the backs of some of the ball players who were seeing it. He really didn't have a hold on Nathan at the uh, initial contact, but uh, Nate had no place to go. <laughs> kind of got uh, run into a wall there. Into the lineup now with the signal comes uh, Hunter. The Hunter boys out there again now as. Uh, uh, the center, let's see who the center is. I think Eric Motter is the center on the ball club. Hunter in a tight end spot. Here's a ball loose and uh, it's falling upon by UD, but flags all over the place that time as the Trojans really jump the gun and that'll cost them five. The legal procedure would be the call. Everything was illegal that time, but the illegal size of the football. The <laughs> anyway, they'll take it back five and make it a first or second down and 14, <clears throat> and UD will be starting this play from the 45-yard line of Juniata. Again, uh, Bingaman on the far side of the field, Wagner on the near side of the field, Stinscombe and Shadel in the backfield. Over the center goes Jim Buffington, calling out some signals. I don't know if Jimbo's changing him at the line of scrimmage or not. And back to pass he goes. Good protection. Fires it down the right side. Man is out here. It is, oh, almost caught. Kyle Bingaman that time doing everything he could to try to bring that one in. It went off his fingertips. There was some coverage out there by Juniata, but Kyle just couldn't quite grab a hold of that one. Oh, bring up a third down and 16. Kyle was in first down territory that time, hadn't been able to latch on to that one, but... Uh, We'll see what happens here on a third down play now. UD apparently believes they can pass on these guys, and so far that was just barely out of the reach of Kyle Bingaman. He's getting a rush this time, looking, firing one downfield. Man, it's out here. Oh, out of bounds it goes. Oh, boy. Wegner had himself well behind the defender that time. But uh, Jimbo on the rush with the big rush and throwing on the run that time just threw a little bit too far to the left and out of bounds it went. But oh my, that was close there also. So into the ball game comes number 44. Uh, I'm not sure who this is. We'll find out here in just a second. Good snap. Here's the kick. Oh, nice kick. High, taken here at the seven. And he goes out to the 10. He's gonna be grabbed and swung down about the 10 yard or seven yard line. 
coming up there to make the stop that time, number, number 40, Byron Adrian Hoover, with a good coverage on that nice high Hoover. punt. And it'll be first and 10, Juniata now on their own. Uh, let's see where they're going to put it. Juniata takes uh, over about the eight yard line. Their own seven yard line. Or seven yard line, okay. Well, it's more like the eight from here. <clears throat> we'll call it the eight, as a matter of fact. First and 10 from the eight for Juniata. Ray. Okay, book it quarterback. Handoff coming over this way is that number 24. Skips ahead, got some good running room. Breaks it out here to the mid, well, not the midfield area, but all the way out here anyway on some kind of uh, either good blocking or lousy tackling, I'm not sure. What the Trojans suffered from on that one, but boy, you talk about getting out of out of uh, terrible shape quickly. They brought it all the way out to the 32-yard line, 31-yard line, whatever. Gain of 20 something on the play, and it will be first and 10. So, Trojans unable to control the Indians here so far. In motion goes Wagner. Back to pass goes Book. He's looking over Wagner's way. Fires one downfield. Man is out here. It is caught. No, incomplete. Incomplete. Wagner was the intended receiver. Matt Bauer out here defending on the play. Jeremy just lost the handle on that one. He had uh, Matt beat that time by a yard or two. The pass was there. We just couldn't quite hang on to it. So it goes as an incompletion. It will bring up a second down and ten. Second down. Himes will set up over here on the left side. Quarterback hands it off here for Himes. I guess it is. And let's see. He'll spin it ahead here out to the 40. Number 20. One yard Matt line. Or Matt Long. May make that Matt Long. Close to the first down, but not quite. Looks like it'll bring up a third down and a little less than one. Referee says he'd like to measure this, but from here it looks like about maybe. Short by maybe the length of the football or something close to that. We'll find out here in a moment. Well, it is indeed about uh, two-thirds of the football length short anyway. And we'll bring up a very serious third down in about a foot or so. So, As a reminder to all fans, UD, I have to dig it in here. Field has been designated a no Okay, on a, a very short yardage play. We'll go in here and see if Book wants to try to sneak it ahead. Nope. Got to hand it off here. 24's got it. He trips ahead after he got tripped up in there by the number carry. 60. Grafe, I believe, made the initial tip on him. First Picked up about Indians. two, and so it's first and ten. Indians now at the 44-yard line of Upper Dolphin. Or rather of Juniata, make that. 44-yard line of Juniata. First and ten. Here we go, on a first and ten. Second man is Wagner. Wagner's got it, and boy, look at him go. Can he break it downfield? Yeah, he can. Not only can he, he will. He'll go all the way. And it will be a... Uh, 54-yard touchdown or something like that by Jeremy Wagner. The kid, when you get into the secondary, you know he was gone. Fine run that time by Wagner. And he puts the 12th point or 13th point on the board for Juniata. And the extra point try will be coming up here in a moment. 4.02 remaining here in period number one. And the Trojans defense tonight hurting against this Juniata ball club. So we'll see what they do with this extra point try. Good snap. Kick is up. The kick is no good from here. Good. Holy smokes. Extra point attempt is good. Wow. From here it didn't look good. But anyway, I guess it was good. And uh, it'll be 14 nothing, with 4.02 remaining here in the first period. We'll be right back. All right. Here we go again with the... Uh, Indian kickoff, nice kick taken here by Bauer at the 12th. And Matt takes it upfield and he is gonna be grabbed and smothered under by three or four Indians. Out at about the 31 yard line this time for Matt. First and 10, UDA. 
Monitor 61 is the uh, quarterback in there. Reaver over there for uh, duty. Pass downfield. Man out here overthrown just a little bit that time intended for uh, pass intended for number 15, Kyle Bingaman. Kyle Bingaman. Kyle could not catch up with that one, so it'll bring up a second down and second 10. Down. All right, now on a second down and 10. See if Jimbo can get us a few uh, yards here on this one. Back to pass, he goes again. They'll set a screen up over here for Shadel. Shadel has got it, but somebody comes in, nearly made a stop on him, and now Nathan will drag it ahead here for some good yardage, making almost something out of nothing that time as Nathan caught the ball, had one uh, Indian there to get away from, and got away from him, and then uh, picked up seven yards after that. So the third down and uh, three. UD has got to keep uh, some uh, momentum going here on the offense now. Both receivers out of the ball field. Both are normal receivers. I'll put it that way. Buffington and uh, or, uh, Binghaman and, and Wagner out of there. Hand off, and it's going to be over here for Shadle. Shadle won't get much on that one. 44 coming up and wrapping him up pretty quickly along with book number 10. No gain on the play. Fourth Didn't get down. much on that, but fourth down and three. And Trojans will be punting the ball away. And that means uh, Nick Huffman, who is wearing jersey number 44 tonight, rather than number uh, 46, Nick's regular jersey. So we'll be back to punt. Nick got a good one off last time, took the Indians all the way down to the six-yard line, only to see them drive the course of the field anyway. But here's another kick coming over this way. It's got a hit, gets a good UD roll. And this one's going to go out of bounds with no run back. Back at around the 5, 10, 15, 19 yard line. No so it'll be first and 10 for Juniata this time, beginning on their own 19. Okay, here we go with a first and 10 from the 19 yard line. Book looks them over. He'll pitch it back over this way for that number 24. He's got five yards and just about 10 out to the 31 yard line, near there anyway. Finally stopped out there as. Uh, Rodenschlager, I believe it was, came up and made the stop on him. Oh, no, no, that's Tony the Tiger Motter. I beg your pardon, Tony. Tony Motter making the stop number 32. Okay, on a first and 10, Book's going to roll around to the left side. Well, he loses a couple of would-be tacklers. Fires one downfield, tipped up in the air and out of the hands of Tony Motter. Tony feels bad about that one as Tony had an interception there in front of him. And uh, he knocked it down, though, anyway, Tony, so that's okay. Second down coming up. Tony figures he could have got six out of that, he said. Not even able to pick that one off. But uh, anyway, good defensive uh, job out there because the receiver was right behind him. So can't feel too badly about that one. Bring up a second down and 10 from the 31 yard line of Juniata. Wagner will go in motion. Book's looking to throw one. Now he's getting it over this side. Pictures it here complete to 24. And he is going to be grabbed. A good tackle from behind made again in there by that Tony the Tiger Motter. Pass complete to number 24. Eric Motter, 61. And Dave Shell also helping out on the stop. But Tony the T out here Third got a hold down. of him low. Stopped him and uh, made a nice play out of it. Gain of seven on the play, however. It'll be third down and three. Ball now out at the 39-yard, 38-yard line, 38 and a half, whatever. And here's where they're going to have to see if we can't stop these Indians for one time tonight. Let's get back a little bit. Second, first, second guy through has just enough for the first down. Stopped the out there by Grafe along with Bauer. Matthew Bauer on the stop. With but... The It'll be a first down for Juniata. Picked up about three and a half or first four on the play. Only needed three. Not much on that, but just enough for the first down. Out at the 42-yard line of Upper Dolphin, or darn near the 42. First and 10, Juniata. 46 seconds left here in the first period, so if they change field positions now, they won't have to go very far if we can hold them here. On a first and 10. 
Wagner gets the pitch. Cuts it upfield. Cuts it back. And now he's got about five out of that to the 46-yard line. And that might have been the last play of the first uh, quarter. We'll see. The Harovic and Huffman stopping him out there for UD. It'll be second down in about five. Clock down to 14 seconds. Well, maybe they will run one more. I don't know. Juniata looks as though they're going to wait and uh, let the time expire here in the first quarter. And that's what they're going to do. So we've got uh, a 14-0 score here at the end of one at Juniata. And we'll be back the with the quarter. Juniata Indians having the football on a second down and five in just a moment. It's been a good first quarter for Juniata. And uh, UD hanging in there tough. Now we've got to stop these guys. Okay, set to go with period number two here at Juniata. Second down and five. Book keeps it this time, and he's got five and plenty more. He's going to spin it out here to the side. Got one man to beat. Well, now he's got about three guys to beat. He takes it all the way down inside to ten. The uh, UD just not getting the defense unloosened here, or whatever you want to call it. It's first and goal now for Juniata. Big run that time by Book all the way down to the eight-yard line. And Juniata having things go their way here so far in this ballgame, that's for sure. First and goal from the eight. Guys are fast on that ball club, that's for sure. They get into that secondary, man, they're moving. Here's that 30 guy, and he'll get down to the five-yard line before Eric Motter falls on him. Number 30, uh, Justin Imes. Tackled in there by number 40, Byron Hoover again for UD. That was Imes. Imes takes it just barely inside the five. Probably second and goal from about the five-yard line. So Book will look him over on a second and goal from the five. Second man's got it, and he'll get it down to about the two before he's tackled in there nicely by Byron Hoover one more time. Nice stop in there by Byron Number Hoover. Three, Brian Hoover on the stop. Making a good stop that time. Gain of about three on a play. Takes it down to about the two. Or three. Two, I guess. And it'll be third and goal for the Indians. Third and goal from about the two. So now, let's see what what they do on this one. Third and goal from the two. High in the backfield for Juniata. 24 will go in motion over on the right side. And Book will pitch it here for Wagner. Wagner, did he get in? Ah, I think so. Number 29, Jeremy Wagner. Yes, he did. Jeremy Juniata Wagner touchdown. plunges in from about two yards or so out. That makes it a 20 to nothing ball game. And the extra point try coming up for Juniata one more time here. The extra Becker will try his third extra point. And we'll see what this one looks like. Good snap. Placement's down. Kick this time looks good. And it is. 21 nothing. And we'll be back with the Indian kickoff here in just a moment. 36 into, uh, or at 46 rather, into the uh, second period. It is 21 nothing. Juniata. Jadel and Bauer back deep to receive the kick once again for a UDA. And we'll see if we can get a good run back here. Now the Trojans need to give up no more points in this ball game if we uh, hope to uh, get into this one. Here's the kick. It's going to be taken this time again by Bauer at about the 15. Matt's going to try to go upfield here with it. And he is tackled, thrown down at about the 27 or 8 yard line. We'll see where they spot it. 28 or 9, maybe. Upper Dolphin takes over first and 10 from their own 28 yard line. Yeah, I guess, well, uh, not sure. Guys are just kind of staying around here with it, but let's see. Where are they going to put it? The 29 yard line, first and 10 for the Trojans. First and 10. So now let's see what we do here. They're going to put Bingaman out on the far side of the field, Wagner on the near side of the field on his first and 10. Trojans trailing 21-0. We'll go to the air with it. Hovington wants to fire over the middle. It is complete or incomplete. Well, now what? No, they got to say it was incomplete as he never had control of it. Intended out there for a Wagner. But uh, Aaron really never had control. Jim fired that one into a crowd that time. There was two or three 
red clad defenders out there, but uh, the ball did come loose, and I thought for a moment there that Aaron might have made a circus catch on it, but not quite. So it is second and 10. Trojans are going to have to throw it, I guess, now trailing 21 nothing here early in the second period. They don't want to get themselves too far behind. Pitch over there for Shadle. Shadle's going to try the left side. Now he's got some running room, and Shadle with a nice run out to the 40-yard line. A first down for Nathan Shadle that time, picking up 11 yards or so on the play. Nice run that time by Nathan Shadle. So, Trojans prove they could sweep that uh, left side over there. Same formation, the eye in the backfield. Since come in Shadle. Pass. Firing it down the side over here. Man is out here. It is going to be caught nicely. What a great catch made out there by that uh, Kyle Bingaman. Super catch, Kyle. Kyle just loves to go up and get those. And uh, nice throw by Bovington. Good catch out there by Bingaman. Way to go, boys. First down, UDA. The ball is in Juniata territory for the first time tonight for the Trojans as they have the ball on the Juniata 34-yard line. First and 10, UD. Same setup, same lineup in the backfield for UD. Pitches over there for Shadle, bobbles it once, has a hold of it, and rolls ahead for maybe one yard. No more than that as the ball on the pitch came popping up in the air. Nathan, a very, uh, very good job of trying to hang on to that one, and he did. And uh, picked up a yard maybe on the player, half a yard. Be second down and almost 10. 8.40. Remaining here in the first half. 21-0. UDA wants to get in here and get six. Back to pass goes Buffington. Over the middle, he fires one incomplete. Intended out there for the tight end that time as he went to Dave P. Shadle, or Shale, rather, and uh, just couldn't find Dave that time. He'll bring up a third and nine. It's a good call, but the pass overthrown that time by Jimbo. Let's see what happens here now on a third and just about 10, almost 10. They'll flank Buffington and uh, or Bingham and, and Wagner out on the near side of the field. Uh-oh, that'll cost you five as he raised up that time just a little bit quickly. And uh, that'll cost you D5. Bring up a third down and about 14. Okay, we'll try this one once again. Same formation. They can run the same play. Just five yards deeper, that's all. Back to pass he goes, looking, firing, over the middle, complete. Nice pass and a nice catch that time down at the 25-yard line. That was Aaron Wagner splitting in from his flanker position out here, cutting across there and making a fine grab on a really nice thrown pass that time by that Jimbo Buffington. Good job. Picked up 14, needed 15. It'll be fourth down in a yard. Official timeout now. What are we going to do, measure this one? Let's see, official would like to measure this one. It is not going to be a first down, but UD very alertly would like to find out just how close it is. Looks like about a half a ball shorter. Is it a first down? I may have misspoke. It is a first down. All right, way to first go, boys. All right, good call. Whoever decided to ask for a measurement certainly knew what they were doing. Coaching staff over there on the far side of the field, I'm sure, said, hey, wait a minute. Looks like a first and 10 to me, and indeed it was. So big play that time. Got UDA a new uh, series of downs here at the 25-yard line. This would be great to take this one in here. Handoff up the middle with it goes Stinscombe on a rush that gains of maybe one yard. No more than that. Jason held up almost immediately after he got it going. Number 42, Jason Stinscombe on the Picked up... Uh, well, one will be second down and nine. No gain on the play. Second down. Second and nine. Flankers out on both sides of the field on the second nine. 
Buffington looking, firing one down here, overthrown, intended for Bingaman, but way over Kyle that time. That was about uh, five feet over Kyle's head. And goes an incompletion, will bring up a third down and 10. So another couple of big plays here for UD. Clock stops with 7.26 left here in the first half. Same lineup this time. We'll try to stay back. I hope you can see these guys on these ones back here. Over the middle, it is incomplete. Knocked out out there by number 29, Wagner. The pass intended for Shell. But Dave well covered out there by that Jeremy Wagner. And so it'll bring up a fourth down and uh, just about 10. Well, we're going to have to do something uh, very dramatic here on this one now. Fourth down and 10. We need to get 10 at least. Buffington would like to throw it. He dumps one into the end. It goes. It is going to be knocked out out there. 23 comes up with the. Uh, number 31, Aaron Wagner. Good pass blocking that time by number 23. He got in front of him, or he got in front of uh, Wagner. I mean, and uh, that'll give the ball back to Juniata now. First and ten. Yep. So. Trojans took it all the way down to the 24. And that's where that one stalled. So first and 10 now. Juniata goes to work. 7-13 left here in the first half. Wagner comes over this way. Book will hand it off to that first guy through there. And he'll drive it out for a couple of yards. Getting it out over the 25 to the 27 or 8. We'll have to see where they spot it. Running the ball that time, number 30. Number Justin, Imes, Justin carried. Imes carried the ball that time, and Imes got it out for about four. It'll be second and six. Ball out the 28-yard line of uh, Juniata. Imes is 30. Wagner will go in and line up on the slot over in the far side right there, 29. He'll come in motion. Handoff is to number 24. Boy, do they have this play down nice. I'll tell you, he's off to the races again. He's got one man to get a block from, and finally he is tackled from behind. Dave Shell chasing him down. Harmon with a big play, and the Trojans simply do not have any coverage on that play because they run that. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's got a hole. But there is a clipping penalty going to be called against Juniata this time, and that's going to bring the ball back, and so that's going to nullify... One heck of a nice run by that young uh, Indian out there. But for the Trojans, it's a big break because they would have had the ball all the way down at the 27-yard line. And instead, this one will come back. And let's see. I'm not sure where they're going to spot it. They're going to... Well, still not sure where it's coming back to, but this man here will tell us. Personal foul is the clip against Juniata. And that should take the ball back around the 25-yard line, I believe, but we'll see. Actually takes the ball back near the 20-yard line. -yard penalty brings up second down It'll be a second and 13 now for the Indians. 6.22 remaining here in the first half. Clock is set in motion. Now it's going. Referee giving it the double crank there to get the clock moving. Oh, should it be some motion? No, no flags in that play. Okay. Book will fire this one. He's going to throw that away. Where the heck's the receiver? And we're going to have a flag on that one. We're going to have an intentional grounding as uh, Book fired this one over here. There's absolutely no one within 20 yards of that play. So that's going to cost him a down. Oh, no. They're going to say roughing the passer against UD. Oh, man. What kind of a call? I don't know. Personal foul against the Trojans. Oh, well. <clears throat> Where was the grounding, I wonder? Was it anyone near the place? Got to call a grounding on that. My gosh, he threw that ball. The closest people to that were the kids standing along the fence. Bad call. Bad call. That's a first down. It's an automatic first down on the intentionally roughing the passer. I didn't see it. They were chasing Book around back there, but uh, 
I was watching uh, him throw the pass, and I never did see him. Maybe it's on the tape, and maybe it isn't. I don't know. So the ball comes out to the 35-yard line, first and 10. Oh, the Trojans had a break a moment ago. Now Juniata gets a break out of this one. And it's going to be Wagner over the middle, gaining about six. Matt Wagner Bauer bringing him down after a gain out to the 42 or three yard line. Picked up, uh, well, nearly yeah, six, second down and four. Second down. Quarterback book keeps it. Now, this time he probably shouldn't have, as he has got to get swarmed under after a gain of maybe one yard. Any number, number of Trojans hitting him, in, hitting him that time, wrestler in there to make the initial stop on him along with uh, Grave and then several other Trojans piling up in there on him. So picked up a yarder, well, actually picked up nearly two. Third down and one. Ball will be at the 45 yard line of Juniata. 4.54 left here in the first half. And off and boy, tackled in the backfield by Byron Hoover. Coming up there and making a good stop that time on number 30 out there, Himes. And Hoover met him in the backfield. Lost about, uh, just about four on the play, or three. The fourth down, and I think that might be the first time tonight that the Trojans have held uh, Juniata. I think this will be the first punt, if indeed they do punt. Looks as though Wagner may be the punter. He's counting the troops out there, yep. He's going to be the punter. So uh, timeout might be called because I don't think they have enough men on the field. In fact, uh, 22 is going to join them now. So the uh, Juniata. Juniata Indians will uh, spend a timeout here now as they get enough players on the field for this punt. 4.07 left here in the first half. 21 nothing Juniata. All right, with 4.07 left here now, Juniata timeout is over, and they will put the... Punt formation squad out there. See you know what kind of a punter Wagner is. We know what kind of a runner he is. That's a good snap. And a left-footed kick. Nice and high. Fair catch called for and made here by uh, Bingaman. Number 15, Kyle. Kyle Bingaman. will haul it in here at about the 20-yard line, somewhere around there, maybe 25. Let's see. 24-yard line where they're going to put it. First and 10, UDA on their own 24. First and 10 from their own. Four minutes remaining here in the first half. Oh, the Trojans want to do something here. Now Now is the time to do it. 21-0 is the score. Trojans need to score here and get back in this one. Hand off to Shadle. Shadle over the left side. Spins away from several would-be tacklers. Book trying to get him, and then he spins ahead yet. Nice gain on a nice run that time by Nathan Shadle. Drags that one all the way up here to about the 40-yard line. A nice run that time. In fact, picked up about 17 or 16 yards on the play anyway. So a nice run that time by Nathan Shadle, breaking some tackles over there and doing a good job. Nice play. And again, they'll set him up uh, in the eye formation in the backfield. Receivers flanked out on both sides of the field for UD. Hand off and trying to go up the middle with it here is Shadle again. Shadle's got a yard or two, not too much Number on that 20, one. Nathan Shadle on the carry. Actually uh, about two. We second down and eight. Nathan picked up two, second and eight. So what will we do on a second and eight from the 44 yard line of UDA? Big rush put on this time. Passes it up in the air. Look out. And incomplete it goes. As uh, Jim had a big rush put on him out there by number 71, among others. And uh, Jim fired that one up in the air. And fortunately for UD, it didn't get close to anybody. <laughs> so it'll be third down and uh, eight. Jim that time was praying that that one fell like rain somewhere and didn't touch anyone and he was he was lucky to have it do that so now got a lot of pressure though you can see that right from the snap 
Again, the flankers are on the near side of the field for UD. And this time uh, they'll try to pass again. Over the middle, it's incomplete. Pass intended out there for That's Wagner, but uh, 16, not George very Hunter. close to Wagner or 16, George Hunter. I didn't even notice George out there in that pattern that time, but at any rate, it's going to ring up a fourth down and fourth down. Uh, eight. So UD will be forced to punt, and that means tricky Nick Huffman will go back Funny to punt this ball away. 44, Nick Huffman. Nick had a couple of good punts Adrian here so far Smith in this ball game. Smith will be deep to receive this one for Juniata. Good snap. Nice snap. Kick. Nice high kick. Fair catch called for and made here at the 23-yard line. 20, Adrian Smith, calls Smith for the fair catch. made the catch. And that's where Juniata will put it in play. Got 245 left here in the first half. And uh, UD, see if we can stop these guys, keep them off the board at any rate as we get close to that halftime break. All right, first and 10, Juniata. Book going back, he wants to throw. Dumps one off over in the near side over here. This is Wagner. Wagner busts it upfield again. Breaking some more tackles. Finally tackled here after a good gain on the play. Byron Hoover, who has played a good defensive ball game tonight for UD so far here in the first half, for sure. Byron making the stop on him out here, number 40. And uh, big gain out to the 47-yard line, just about the 48-yard line, whatever, 47 and a half. Look at that. Right between the stripes, I would say. At any rate, first down, 225 left here in the first half. And here we go. Looks like Book would like to throw one again. Dumps one over to this side, incomplete. Overthrowing Imes and another flag on the play. Uh, this guy right here threw the flag, so let's see what he detected. Probably holding. At least it's where it generally is. So no illegal receiver downfield for the Juniata Indians. So that will uh, cost them some yardage. Stops the clock with 2.09 left here in the first half. Penalty is ineligible receiver. So we'll see if the, the Trojans can hold them here now. They'll take the ball back, I would think. I'm not sure, though. They're talking it over here, and maybe they'll take a play, or what are they going to do? Yep, he says take them back. It's only a five-yard penalty. I thought it was more than that, but five-yard penalty makes it a first down and uh, 15 for Juniata. 2.09. Clock won't move till the ball is snapped. Motion goes over to the right side. Back to pass goes the QB. Tipped in the air. Caught over here by UD. And a nice play by Nick Huffman. Tipping the pass in the air. And then Huffman picks it off in there. Way to go, Nickster. All right. So the Trojans ought to be able to get it up now for this, I would think. Should inspire them a little bit. The ball is tipped and recovered out here at the 29-yard uh, line of uh, Juniata. Two minutes, one second left here the in the first half. The Come on, line. fellas. Got to get the heck in there. All right, Jim Buffington, the QB. All right, let's see what happens here now. Buffington will go to throw. Getting a rush, getting sacked. No pass defense for Jim on that play. 30 and 39 coming in there making a stop on him. Iams coming in to make the initial hit. Dressler also for Juniata. We've got a penalty flag on the play. Illegal procedure called against UD. Well, they won't take that one. I wouldn't think because they've lost more than, uh, than the penalty would give them. So it'll be second down and uh, 15 probably. We'll see. No, it is first and 15. <clears throat> why they took the penalty, I'm not sure. They must have... Five-yard penalty. Well, I don't, I don't know why. It looked to me like they lost more on the sack than they gained on the penalty. Still a first down now for UD. 155 left here in the first half. Handoff up the middle with it goes Shadle, and he breaks it down for a couple of yards. On the carry. Picking up about four on the play to the 31-yard line. That'll bring up a second down and 12. Actually gain three on the play. Second down and 12. On a second and 12.
Your Shadle. Shadle around the left side. Following Stinscombe's block, and he picks up a couple of yards on the, on the play. The Not too many that time for Nate. Got about, uh, well, actually, picked up four. Third down. Be third and eight. A little more yardage than I even thought Nate got on that one, but still gives the Trojans a long third down play here, third down and eight. Less than 50 seconds remaining here in the first half. Clock moving it on down, 44 seconds, 43, 42, and so forth. Back to pass goes Buffington. Got to throw a screen. Sets it up over there, and uh, Shadle has it. Shadle's got to go all the way for a six. There is no flag on the play, and uh, the Trojans have got six. Nate Shadle with a fine little screen out there on the left side, and then Nathan takes it in for six. Good play. I didn't think I was going to do anything like that, but way to go, Nathan Shadle. Taking it in from about 30 or 20. Oh, it's hard to tell in this field. But what, what was that, 27 yards or something? I don't know. What do you get on that, Bob? How many yards? I don't know either. Anyway, nice run and a nice play. Let's see if we can get uh, an extra point here. Nice snap. Kick is up. Kick is good. Perfect. All right, so we've got a ball game now. 21 to 7. 30 minutes or 30 seconds remaining here Sulio's in the first half. Well, Sulio, the toe out there, putting that one through very, very nicely. And UD on the board. So that's got to make them feel a whole lot better here at halftime as uh, the Trojans will get the ball to begin the second half of play. We'll look forward a little bit here. And um, that should inspire the boys a little bit, that's for sure. Sulio will tee it up here and kick off with 30 seconds remaining here in the first half. About a 28-yard yard, uh, pass play that time from Buffington to Shadle for six. Here's Sulio, ready to kick it off. Here we go. Nice kick. Got to drive Wagner all the way back. Did he touch it? I think he might have. Let's see. Can we get him back there? Well, no, we can't. Oh, man. How can, how can he drop the ball, fumble it back there and everything else, and then run it all the way out to the 30-yard line anyway? That is just not covering out there on the kick. Well, whatever. We've got 20 seconds remaining here now in the first half. The ball is spotted out at the 30-yard, 28-yard line, I guess it is, or 25-yard. Where the heck is it? It's at the 29-yard line, 28-yard line. See this field? Let me just mention it again. Look at the 20-yard line marker here. See where the girl's standing and the guys are standing, ladies standing over there. Then this guy here, with the, one of our stat men, is standing here actually at the 20-yard line. But it's hard to tell because the line markers are way back. The field has no markings on it other than five-yard stripes, and it's it's no fun up here. Wagner, book, firing one downfield. Man is out here. Could be intercepted. It is. It is intercepted. How much, Tyree? No, no. He says no. Says Wagner did not catch the ball. Aaron says, well, okay. This guy in here, I don't see how he could have possibly seen it was behind him. His back was turned, but this guy calls it no catch. Lousy call, fella, lousy call. You were, be, you were behind him. His back was turned to the where to where Aaron caught it. Aaron didn't argue with him. There's no point, I guess. But uh, sure looked like we had picked that off and had we did that at 13 seconds left. Well... There's a handoff, and this time it's going to be number 24 racing. And look at the yardage. Look at the yardage. Finally tripped up number out there as Bingaman got a hand on him. Oh, man. First down to the 48-yard line of Upper Dauphin. Four, sec four and a half seconds remaining here. <laughs> four and a half seconds remaining. Juniata had called timeout with uh, four and a half seconds remaining. So this should be the last play of the first half. We'll see how it goes here. The Trojans have got to stop them. They get these long plays. Here's Book, back to pass, getting a rush. Fires one downfield. It is incomplete. Intended out here for number 30. There is a flag on the play. This guy out here threw the flag again. He'll call pass interference against UD, I guess. Penalty flag on the play. Rather just called the uh, no interception for UD. 
Well, he's not. He's got to call interference on UD. Uh, interference. Oh, yeah, he made up for the call. There's a makeup call. Thanks. <laughs> a makeup call. Yeah, that was the make. Thank you, sir. That should be the end of the half now. Yep. It can, it can end on that. They just refuse it, and the half's over. Refuse and the half will end. Okay, so the that half comes to an end, end. That is the end of the uh, with half. a score of uh, Juniata 21, Upper Dolphin 7 at the end of one half of our football game. So it could get interesting, folks. Stick around. We'll be right back with half number two in just a moment. First of all, the winning numbers, 07693. Well, the Trojans are making their way back onto the field, as you can see, and that means the second half is just about ready to get underway here. To begin the second half, UD will get the football as the... Uh, Trojans kicked off to Juniata to begin the football game. Juniata will return the favor here to begin the second half of the football game. So uh, we're ready to go here in just a moment. Trojans scoring late in the first half. Got themselves within two touchdowns. And if this is baseball, we've got a three to one ball game. Uh, bottom of the fourth inning. <clears throat> so that's not bad at all. Question is, can we contain these Indians? And put a couple more points on the board for ourselves here and get ourselves right back into this. The first series may be very important to UD as far as their fortunes go here in the second half. So we hope that the Trojans can get her together. And we'll be back and find out here in just one moment. Incidentally, co-captains tonight for the Trojans, number 15, um, Bingaman, number 12, Buffington, and number 20, Shadle. Number 10 out there is the uh, quarterback for the uh, Juniata Indians. That's that uh, um, Gabe Book. 44 is Will Harland, Harlan, and the other young fella we don't have. But anyway, we'll be set to go now in just a moment. I want to get one like that. <laughs> no, 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 I mean the camera. <laughs> Okay, we got our teed up here and ready to go. Spangler is going to get a toe into this one. He'll kick it to Shadle or Bauer. Here comes the kick. It's going to be a little uh, short. Picked up over here by Shadle. Shadle running it up the uh, side here. Gets swarmed under. After he runs it back here to the 31-yard line, Trojans will put it in play 69 yards away from pay dirt. As we begin the second half Robert here takes over first at and Juniata. -yard line. Trojans will be working with that same squad out there, of course. Uh, that includes uh, Brandel, number 71. 61 in there, Motter. 60 is Grave. 77, Wrestler. Uh, 74, Ki Campbell. I think. No, wait, no, that's not true. Pass complete over there for uh, Bingaman. And Bingaman is turned back after not much of a gain, maybe even lost a yard or so. Let's see. Yeah, a loss on the play. On the completion of about a yard, we second down and 11. Regal, Anthony Regal in there. 74. All right. From that I formation, they'll go now. On a second down and 11. Pitch back this way. Shadle didn't get it. And let's see who does have it. I think he may have recovered the fumble himself. Pitch that time Nathan couldn't quite hang on to that one. So the Trojans here are not starting out the way I had it planned anyway. <laughs> I'm sure they didn't plan it this way either. 
He recovered the fumble after a loss of about seven more, or about uh, 12 more on the play, make that. It'll be third down and about uh, 21. Third and 21. Stinscombe and Shadel in the eye formation in the backfield. Receivers out on both sides of the field this time for UD. We'll stay back here and see if Jim wants to throw one. He does. Get some time over the middle. It is going to be incomplete. And a flag is thrown on the play. This That's young fellow down here likes to throw that flag. Is that same guy. He's detected some that interference, and play. almost certainly it was against, well, could be interference. Let's find out. Call is holding against the Juniata Indians. So, uh, nope, he's going to go over here and explain it to somebody. Holding against Juniata. Flag is picked up way down here, but the um, yardage is marked out to the 30-yard line, where we'll still bring up a third down and 11. Valiant so, holding against the Indians. <clears throat> 10-yard penalty gets the Trojans to within 11 yards of the first down marker. Third down, 11. We'll stay back again here now. Let's see what happens on this third and 11. Will Buffington go to the air twice? That's the question. Nope. He's going to hand this one off. Up the middle with it goes Shadle. He busts it out to the 35-yard line. Gain of about five or six on the play. It'll be fourth down six and uh, fourth down. six. Fourth and six. Trojans will have to punt the ball away. And that means uh, Nicky the Toe Huffman will go back to kick this one. <clears throat> See if Tricky Nick can get a good one off here. He gets an excellent snap. The kick is good. Nice. Coming down here. Oh, gets a good UD roll, but picked up immediately out here by this number 20 guy. And he is going to be dragged down as coming up to make number the stop on number 32, on the Tony the Tiger Motter, along with number 76 out there for UD, but Tony dragging him down first. Good job, Tony. 76 over there was that dandy Andy Mortensen. And Andy helping on the, on the uh, tackle. First and 10. Now let's stop him back here, see what we can do on defense. Book, handoff. Oh, man. Well, that's stopping him, that's for sure. Great stop out there by that uh, Hoover, who had an excellent first half. And Byron starting out where he began, or where he left off at the end of the first half with an excellent stop. Loss of a yard on the play. It'll be second and 11. One on the play. Second down. Nice stop. Well, it's sitting almost squarely on that 35-yard uh, line. Gabe Book. Fakes the handoff, rolls right, looking to throw, fires one downfield. It is tipped away in there. Number 20 gets it off his hands. It looked as though, had he not done that, uh, Bingaman is reacting as though he might have had a good chance to pick that one off, but it goes as an incompletion. Actually, touched the uh, Tiger, that or the uh, uh, Indian. Got those East Junior. Yeah, the Tigers, who I understand, have uh, announced that they are quitting. Our uh, Tri-Valley League. My friend up here who does uh, videotaping for Juniata tells me the East Juniata Tigers have hung it up as far as the Tri-Valley League is concerned. Here is Book with the keeper. He's going to scramble upfield with it and still on his feet. Drives it out here close to the first down marker. Finally tackled in there as uh, Huffman along with Wagner come up to make the stop. It'll be short of the first of the first down by about three yards and bring up a fourth down and three. So the Trojans have held here, benefiting from some darn good defensive work. <clears throat> and they'll drop back both uh, Bingham and this time on the far side of the field and uh, Bauer on the near side. Here's the snap. Here's the kick. Ooh, nice kick. Going to come down here to Matthew Bauer at the 15, and he is going to be nailed immediately. Matt, doing a good job to hang on to it. Or uh, I beg your pardon. That is uh, George Hunter. George Hunter. Or was it Bauer? Well, I'm not sure. I guess it might have been Matt. But anyway, uh, 
First and 10 for UDA. The ball will be spotted at the 24 yard line. 23 yard line. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> first and 10 from the 23. So the Trojans held. The Juniata held the Trojans the first time. Now we hold them this time. Here's a screen set up over in the far side, incomplete. Intended for Shadle. Pass intended for number 20, Nathan Shadle. But uh, they ran Jim all the way back into the incomplete end zone practically with that one. Down. A lot of, of good rush that time put on by Juniata. Jim was scrambling back there and overthrew Nathan. So it'll be the second and ten. Second and ten for the Trojans. 8-16 remaining here in the third period. UD needs to grind one out here now and get on the board. Oops, look out. Missed a handled snap. And I think uh, UD has it. Yeah, Jim Buffington grabbed it. But they're wasting some valuable downs here now. It'll bring up a third down and uh, ten. And timeout's going to be called by UDA. Time Trojans want to get it together now. Coach wants to know if these guys are going to come in here and play some good football or what? So, got to get her together. We'll be right back. Eight minutes, one second remaining in period three. Trojans looking for some offensive spark here, and we'll be right back after their timeout. Passing, looking, throwing, complete. Oh, but uh, Shadle had to reach out and dive to catch Loving the ball. And uh, on the gain on the play, about a yard. Gain of one on the play. Fourth, fourth down. down and nine. So both teams now sputtering on the offense a little bit. Trojans will once again be forced to uh, kick this one away. And again, it will be Nick Huffman coming in there to do the punting. Good snap, big rush that time. Kicks the ball straight up in the air, not deep at all. And then it gets a Juniata roll yet. Gonna be down by Upper Dolphin at the 35 yard line. Where it'll be first and 10. That cut, uh, punt there covered about 11 or 12 yards. Not a good one, Nick was getting a big rush. Snap kind of came back a little lazily that time to Nick. If you notice on the uh, video, Kind of just uh, floated back there, more or less, you know. I don't know if they lost the handle on it or what, but it wasn't a good sharp snap, and uh, people were pretty much in Nick's face that time before he could get that punt off. So he hurried it and uh, didn't get a whole lot on it. First and 10, Junior had an excellent field position. Here comes that Wagner. Wagner into the secondary, rolls ahead, twisting his way for seven yards before um, Bingaman is able to put a stop on him in the secondary. Gaining eight on the plate to be second down and two. Ball on the 27-yard line of Upper Dauphin. And off up the middle with it goes that number 33. And boy, a couple of Trojans almost had a chance to steal that football that time, but couldn't quite do it. Looked like they were trying to tackle the ball. Himes has the first down, I think. Oh, yeah, first, first down. down for the Indians. First down at the 24-yard line of Upper Dauphin. So, no. dig in there. Byron Hoover, not a really big fella, right in the middle of that line. I guess that's probably where, um, well, no, I'm not sure who would be in there. At any rate, here we go on a first and 10 from the 24. 24 will reset himself. Handoff is again to Wagner. Wagner over the right side, twisting and turning and speeding down all the way down to about the 10 or maybe inside the 10. Another fine run by Jeremy Wagner, who is a, if not a world-class, at least a state-class sprinter, picking up first place in 100-yard dashes and things like that, I'm told. So uh, it'll be first and goal now from the six-yard line. So the Trojans really, gonna, this is going to be a, a real herder here if the uh, Indians are able to push this one in, and I can't imagine they would not from six yards out. <clears throat> First and goal. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, hey, hey. 
24 in motion over this side just to set up. Book hands it off. Up the middle with it goes 30 unopposed. Number and it's now 25, or 26 rather. Okay, make that 27, Dale. I was never good at math. <laughs> 27 to 7 with an extra point try coming up. Okay, book a hold for the extra point try. Good snap. Kick is good, I guess. Yep, it's good. 28 to 7. Extra we'll be right back. 28 7, 5, 36 remaining in the third. Well, I think this man's name's Becker, and he's going to tee it up again and kick off to UD. And here comes the kick. It is going to come over here to Nathan Shadle at the 15 yard line. 20, 25, 30, and out to the 32. Number before he is brought Shadle down in there by 44 and 62 of the uh, Juniata Indians. And it'll be first down UDA. Upper Dolphin takes over. Okay, first and 10 now for UD. And this is going to be Shadle. Shadle will lose a yard or two on this one. He tries to go over the left side over there, but Nathan is stopped. After a loss of about two, it'll be second down and 12. Nathan Shadle on the All right, let's see what the Trojans can come up with here now. From the I formation, back to pass goes uh, Buffington, overthrows Buffington George Hunter. For number 16, George Hunter. Jim's been a little strong tonight on some of these passes. Now as he pass, overthrow, has overthrown several guys tonight, but that one there was just out of the reach of George. He couldn't possibly grab that one, so it'll bring up a third and uh, 12. Okay, on a third and 12. Flankers out on both sides of the field. Jim would like to throw another one. Fakes it once, and uh, by, uh, 39 comes in there and puts him down with a sack. It'll bring up fourth down and uh, uh, oh, 20 something. Adrian Smith. Trojans giving very little pass protection and now here's a low snap, look out. Wow, got it off. Better this time actually. Takes kind of a, well that's gonna take a reverse roll here and be downed out here by UD. And uh, they'll put it in play at the 48 yard, 47 yard line of Upper Dolphin. Mortensen. Mortensen making the downing of the football out there. First and 10 from the first upper and 10. Yard line. Juniata. From the 47 they go. Book hands it to his second guy through here. This is that number 24. He is stopped on a fine tackle in there that time by George Hunter. Coming up there to make the stop, number 16, assisted in there by Jason Sinskum, but Hunter making the initial tackle a good low one that time for George. And uh, there's no gain on the play, second and 10. On a second and 10. Hook's gonna keep this one. Boy, when they do that play, that's a nice play. Look at this for breaking tackles, huh? All the way inside the 20-yard line to the 14 or 15. It looked like George Hunter 15, uh, 50 in there may have been in on the stop that time, but another nice, nice run by Gabe Book. And uh, just floating by everybody out there. Big gain on the play. First and 10, Juniata. First and 10, Juniata. 24. Up the middle. Ah, dove upon Bauer there as uh, Bauer held him up. And 24, he looks at Bauer, says something to that. And then uh, Byron Hoover putting a clamp on him from on top. But Matt Bauer had a good hold on low that time down around the foot. Down around the ankle. Stopped him nicely. A gain of three on the play. It'll be second down and seven. Ball now inside the 15 at the 14. Pitch over here for Wagner. Wagner to the five, Wagner to the three, and then out of bounds he went with it. Number 29, Jeremy Wagner on the carry. It looked like, again, the Drew Hunter and uh, Wagner pushing him out, out down of there. Bounds, about the three yard line. Is that the three? It'll be first and goal from the, the three now for the Indians. From the I formation they go this time with uh, Wagner as the running back, or Wagner rather. 
24 has it, and he jumps into the end zone for six more. Touchdown, Juniata, number 24. Justin Makes it 34 to seven, and we'll be back with the extra point try here in just a moment. Okay, let's see what the extra point try looks like here. It is good. 35-7, the score with 2.15 remaining here in the third quarter. Juniata on the road to their seventh consecutive win here. Have really uh, put the hurts to the Trojans now, for sure. And uh, they just continue playing excellent, excellent football. Wow, here's a heavy hit out here, I'll tell you, as Stinscom started running it back and ran into a couple of red brick walls out here and uh, returned it about a yard and a half before he was nailed at the 32-yard line. It'll be first and 10 Trojans from the 32. Okay, well, now the Trojans just need to play for a little pride here, see if we can get something going. Here's Stinscom diving ahead for about four out over the 35 Number to the 36-yard line. Picked up four, we second down and six. Second down. Second and six from the eye for UD. It's going to be Shadle. Shadle running it off the side over here, spinning and spinning and getting his way down Number to the 43 yard line. A darn nice run that time by Nathan Shadle. Another down. first down, picking up about 15 yards or so on the play. Excellent run by Nate. First and 10, UD. 120 left here in the third. Pitch over there for Shadle. Shadle around the left side. Has a couple of yards before he's knocked out of bounds, stopping the clock. There's 113 left here in the third. And uh, picked up four, second and six. Well, here we go. On a second and six. Again, Shadle on the reverse. They're going to reverse it here for Bingaman. And Kyle has about one yard for his effort. Number 15, Kyle Bingaman on the carry. Gain of one on the Third play. and five. Third down. Is that the 37 yard line of the Juniat Indians on his third down and five? Dumping one down the side over here. They're going to allow Binghamton to catch this one and go in for six. Nice play. That a young fellow out here, 24, that absolutely gave him no coverage whatsoever. Kyle just had to wait to catch that one. And a good, good job. Way to go, Kyle Binghamton. Or Kyle, Kyle. Yeah, Kyle, yeah, Kyle Binghamton. Way to go, Kyle. Nice pass from Jim Buffington. Kyle Binghamton for six. So it's 35-13. And uh, Sulio will try the extra point. So he owes our Hovey. See if he can kick this one true. He was good the first try, second try, good. Man, we've got a 35-14 ball game, 26 seconds left here in the third quarter. UD will be kicking off here in just one moment. sulio has got her teed up and here comes that kick. Right here to the 16 yard line. Up the middle with it goes number 20, number 20 until he is stopped out there. Return. Nicely airing Motter making the stop. Number 61 there for UD. The ball is at the 36 yard line of Juniata. Now, can the Trojans stop him just for the heck of it here? We'll know in a moment. Let's go defense. Come on, boys. Hang in there. Seconds remain here in the uh, third period. Trojans trail by 21. Brooke again, look at the hole. Look at the hole. You could mow the lawn out there and no one would get hurt. All the way down here to the 43 yard line. Gabe Book on the keeper. Gabe Book has that play. They got some blocking on that play because that young fella 
has had all kinds of holes to run through when he wants to. First and 10, Juniata. We'll get this playoff as uh, mercifully the third quarter will come to an end. And that did it. At the end of three, it's, uh, Juniata 35, UD 14. For those astronomers among us, the uh, moon is a big thing, uh, Jupiter is the other one. Okay. First and 10, Juniata. Pass. Firing over there for 24. He has it, but he's going to be out of bounds before he gets anything out of that. In fact, do they say it was incomplete? He may have been out of bounds when he caught the pass. No gain. Second and 10. Okay, now on a second down and uh, 10. From the Trojan 44-yard line. Pitch over here for that 24 guy. And he's going to be stopped as coming up there to make the stop on him. Is that Matt Bauer? Harmon was the uh, runner, but uh, Bauer making the stop. Matt good Bauer, uh, good boy, Matt. No gain on that play. Loss of a yard, as a matter of fact. Third down, 11. Loss of one on the play. Third and E11. Boy, nothing going here. Trojans Point immediately nine, coming Wagner in. On the carry. Sulio along with, uh, who was the other young fellow? Oh, Hoover again, Byron Hoover and Byron Sulio Verhorvik. Coming up to make the stop. Loss of Loss two of more, play. or three more maybe. Fourth down. Fourth down coming up, fourth and uh, 13 or 14. UD will send back uh, Bingaman on the far side of the field and Bauer nearer to us. Let's see what these tricky Indians do with this one. Well, he dribbled it once, but gets the kick off nicely. Well, not very good kick, but then it does get kind of a strange bounce out here. And it's going to be down at the 25-yard line, so the Trojans will put it in play no first and 10 on, on the Trojan 24-yard line. 10-22 left here in the ball game. Line. Trojans scored last time they had the ball, and that would be nice to see once again here now if we could get it going. Bingaman will be the flanker on the near side. Wagner flanked out on the far side of the field for Upper Dauphin. In the eye formation go the backs. And back to pass goes Buffington. Fires one over here. It is going to be complete to Wagner. He'll drag it out of bounds at the 30. Pass complete to number 31, Aaron Wagner. Three yard line, I guess it is. A gain of eight on the play. It'll be second down. And uh, Gain of nine on the play. well, just about second nine down. on the play, second down and one. 10 16. They alertly go out of bounds with it, stopping that clock. <clears throat> play a two minute drill for the next 10 minutes here and put some points on the board. <laughs> okay, here we go. Up the middle with it, first down, close. Nathan they will the stop carry. the clock momentarily here till they maybe measure this one. Shadel got about two. It is a first down. Picked up the necessary yardage for the first down. Clock put in motion now. Ten minutes and eight seconds remaining. So we'll be inside of ten minutes before the Trojans get this playoff. Ball is spotted almost uh, directly on the 35-yard line of Upper Dauphin. Pass, firing, it is incomplete, and a flag on the play. This flag should get the Trojans a uh, defensive pass interference call, I would think. Yep, interference against Juniata. Well, that'll stop the clock. You give the Trojans a first down, I believe. Let's see where they're going to spot it. They're going to move the ball down here to the 48-yard line. No. 49-yard line. 49-yard line of uh, Juniata goes the football. So, first and 10 for the Upper Dauphin Trojans with the ball just a shade into Juniata territory. Trojans with the first down. Come on, boys. Okay, they're ready to go. I think this is going to be a pass play here for Bingaman. Let's find out. Kyle looks like he's ready to catch one out here for six. Passing, looping one down the side over there. It is complete. No, it is incomplete. 
intended for Wagner. Oh, I thought he had it. Oh, I guess not. Incomplete. Nope, up, incomplete. Second down. second down and 10 coming up. Hmm. A lot of cover, good coverage out there by Juniata, but I looked to me as first I saw Aaron had that one, but apparently not. Okay, let's see what we do on this one now. Second down and uh, 10. Here's Shadle bouncing ahead for one yard. Book making the stop out there. Gabe grabbed him down around the knees and threw him down after one yard. Third down and nine. Gain of one, third down. Just never know what's going to happen week after week in high school football. And tonight the Trojans have run into a red hot team up here in Juniata. Back to pass goes Buffington looking, firing one over the middle. This time it is going to be complete to Bingaman. Pass Kyle with a nice 15, catch Kyle over Bingham. the middle. And that's going to be another first down at the first Trojan 30 the or at the uh, 35 yard line of uh, Juniata. Kyle limping off to the side over there. Looks like he might have hurt his hip a little bit or his tailbone or something on that one. Kyle would like to come out, I think. And timeout's going to be called by the UDA. Timeout, Upper Dauphin. Timeout, Upper Dauphin. Kyle is hurting. No doubt about it right at the moment. He's going to check out of the ball game and be replaced in there by the Dave Shell. I believe. 8.36 remaining in our ball game. UD with a first and 10. First and 10, UDA from the Juniata 35 yard line. Shadle around the left side. Oh, just could not turn it. Coming up there, number 30 to riding down. Nathan had it going good there for a second, but Iams coming up and Putting a stop on Nathan after a gain of only one yard on the play, so it'll be second and nine. Second down, nine. Look out, Jim's gonna have to rush this one. No, ball came loose, no it didn't. And Jimbo might have hurt a leg that time. Looks like he's holding his left shin. Buffington, or knee. Number 39, Jared Dressler. So uh, that does not bode well for UD, but we're going to find out what's going on here. I think he might have got kicked or hit on the shin or something like that. I'm not sure. At any rate, uh, we'll be right back. Well, Jim is very definitely being assisted off the field over here, favoring his left leg. So I don't know what the heck might have happened uh, there. I really... Couldn't tell, couldn't see. So in the meantime, Kyle Bingaman will be called upon to uh, return as quarterback for UD. He started the first two games of the season when Jim was out with a busted thumb, and now he'll be called upon to guide the Trojans here in this Juniata ball game for the last seven minutes, 25 seconds of the game. The Trojans looking at a third down and uh, 10. So it'll be Bingaman at the quarterback spot. Shell goes in as a flanker on the near side of the field, in the slot on the near side of the field. Whoops, a little bit of a mishandling of the snap, and then uh, Kyle's not going to be able to get out of the way back there. As the ball came up that time and was dropped almost immediately on the snap, and so that'll put the uh, ball in play on a fourth down and uh, fourth and 25. Obviously, uh, Nick uh, Huffman will try to punt this one out of there. They'll have uh, one man back, Smith, back to return this one for the Indians. Good snap this time. And a nice kick coming over this way. Smith handles it. He slides, uh, slides down at the seven or eight yard line where the Juniat Indians will put it in play. First and 10. 628 is Warriors all that remains here nine, in the ballgame. Okay, on a first and 10. Here comes that Wagner. He wants to go 87 yards with it. He might if he gets loose. No, not quite. All the way out here, however, to the 44 yard line. Wagner with a heck of a run. What a speedster. Good heavens. He's just 
mad that he couldn't bust that one all together, but uh, certainly got him out of bad field position, huh? First and ten, Junietta. First and ten, Junietta. Book still in there at quarterback with a 35-14 lead and uh, six minutes remaining in the ballgame. Young fellow here tries to dig a hole forward here. This is Harmon. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. That's about all on that one. No Stop made in there by uh, number 40, of Byron Hoover. Byron has played well tonight, the whole game. Second and ten. Second down and ten. The reset in the back. 30 has it. Imes, I think it is. And Justin Imes on the carry. He has uh, about a yard and a half to the 45-yard line. Two on the play. Picked up two sec or third down and eight. Third down. Four, 35 left in the game. Here comes that Wagner. This time he is met nicely in there as Jason Stinscombe comes up and puts a on hit carry. on him. Nice hit there by Jason. A gain of uh, maybe a yard or two on the play. We get, give him two. Fourth down, Fourth down and six. This will be Wagner, Jeremy Wagner, back to punt. Low snap. Gets the kickoff, however. A low wobbly kick, as you can imagine. Plenty of pressure put on him out there by UD. And Book will down the ball for the uh, Indians at the no oh let's see 39 yard line Bingaman remains in at quarterback for UD he'll hand this one off to uh, Shadle Nathan Shadle on the carry not much on that one matter of fact uh, no, gain. no gain on the play. second down second 10 down. oh Kyle with three minutes remaining here in the ball game. Looking them over out here. Up the middle with it goes Buffington. Or uh, I beg your pardon, Bingaman. And Kyle bursts ahead for about six yards or so, maybe Kyle seven. On the keeper. Pretty nice run that time by Kyle. Kyle would like nothing better than to throw himself a pass out here. <laughs> Kyle said, let me throw myself a pass. Huh? Anyway, he likes receiving a whole lot better than throwing, I'm sure. But, we're gonna have this. Third down and uh, two. Here's Shadle with a nice burst. Shadle around the left side. Nathan on the move and is tripped up finally way down around the 22 yard line or something like that. A fine run that time by our very own speedster number 20 Nathan Shadle out there. Doing a good job. Wagner coming up and making the stop. He was the other speedster on the other team. So first and ten for, first and ten for UD. Juniata, it's at the 22-yard line. line of Juniata now with 2:13 remaining, and the clock is moving. It will be inside of two minutes when they get this playoff. Now, clock down to 2:05 and four and three and so forth. All right. Tony the Tiger Motter flanked out on the far side of the field to replace uh, Bingaman, who is now at quarterback. Kyle's got it, tucks it away, races down the right side. He'll go out of bounds over there, bumped out of there by number 23 of Juniata, stopping the clock with a uh, minute 45 left here in the ballgame. Trojans would like nothing more than to get at least six more in here if we could. George Hunter will join the fray. Okay. Passing. Into the corner it goes for Wegner. Wegner's got it for six. Nice pass play. Pass complete to number from, 31, Aaron uh, Wegner for an upper dolphin touchdown. Bingaman to Wegner. Tying up the, or uh, getting a 20, one yard pass play, I guess it was something like that, I'm not sure. But that was good, nice play. 
Kyle looped it out there very nicely, and, and uh, Wagner, Aaron, all by himself over there, kind of. Not too much defense around on that one. So, uh, the extra point try is no good. Off to the right. Extra point attempt is no good. 39 remaining in the ball game. 35 to 20. The uh, Indians by 15. We're down here, 63. Mark Reber, 87 in the ball game on his special team here now. As the uh, Trojans get ready to kick off following their third touchdown of the ball game, Zerovic will uh, kick it off. No, he won't. He picked up the ball. He's going to take it over to the side. He wants to get closer to the team bus, he said, before he, <laughs> before he kicks this one off. Here he goes. He's ready. He backs up only four yards. Looks like it might be an onside kick attempt. It is. And hold everything. we got an offsides play on Upper Dolphin. Hold the phone. UD offsides. Trojan draw offside on the kick. So we're going to try it again now. It's going to be an onside kick, obviously. So uh, let's see if Tulio can get this one a little better. Yep. Going to be bouncer out, tipped up in the air. The Trojans have it, believe it or not. It's going to be David Fischel coming up with that football. I believe it was Dave coming up off the pile. It is. It's Upper Dolphins ball as the onside kick is successful. Onside Trojans kick with a minute 37 remaining here David in the uh, ball game. But Dave Shell with a big onside kick recovery. That's always fun. Doesn't happen often. And Dave right there, Johnny on the spot. Or in this case, Davey on the spot to pick up that uh, onside kick. A nice one. Went just fully the 10. As a matter of fact, it went about 11 yards or so. And uh, well, that's the way you're supposed to play it. And he did. First and 10, UD, a minute and a half left here. See if Kyle, or, uh, yeah, Kyle can fire one down here to one of those guys. And he's going to try. Here he is, getting chased. Now he's got some running room. Fires it down the field. It's going to be intercepted, though. It was intended for Wagner, but 23 decided he'd pick that one off for the Indians, and he did. So the ball goes right back to Juniata. First and 10, Indians. Minute 29 left here in the ball game. 30 rushing ahead and finally stopped out there as Tony the Tiger Mutter combines with uh, Matt the Hooper Bauer out there and he has got seven on the play. <laughs> a good tackle. Second Picking down. up seven was that uh, young Juniata Indian. Second down, uh, three. All right, on a second down play, second down three. Clock down to 45 seconds left here in this one. And hold everything. We've got delay of the game called against Juniata with 44 seconds left. And that'll march them back five. Penalty. Still second down. Still second down. Both teams out here, I'll tell you, they're they're playing this one like it's a close ball game. Uh, Juniata, with 44 seconds left in the ball game, has uh, not substituted one ball player that I can see out here. They had a 15-point lead. Trojans, of course, countering mostly with their starting five also. There's another run up the middle here, and we're going to draw a crowd out here at the 47 yard line. This is the quarterback book. He runs for about nine more. And it'll bring up a third down play, but more so than that, it looks as though that might have been the final play of the ball game, as Juniata will obviously allow this one to run down. So the final score will be Juniata 35, the Upper Dolphin Trojans 20. The Trojans now drop behind 500 ball, dropping to three and four on the season, and now have piled up two consecutive losses in the league play. Uh, coming up uh, with a 15-point deficit tonight and uh, just a six or seven-point deficit last week, whatever it was, six-point, I guess. So anyway, a heck of a good uh, ball game for Juniata, again, uh, keeping their streak alive here now, seven in a row. In the 70 or the 97 season, so congratulations to the Indians on a really really good ball game, and UD we will have to regroup and try to see what we can do uh, next week. I think we have um, uh, let's see, I'm not sure who Newport at home next week, so uh, that should we should make out a little better during that time, I believe. Looks as though uh, Jim Buffington was walking around over there, so I believe Jimbo is going to be okay. 
for next week's ball game. I certainly hope so. And uh, yeah, here he is. And we'll see what uh, happens now as uh, Trojans need to get it back uh, again together. And they, they come in tonight playing, well, actually two weeks in a row playing two pretty tough ball games. Although I must tell you this for posterity's sake, the uh, line mounted Eagles beat the Halifax Wildcats tonight nine to nothing. They had led three to nothing for the longest time. Then apparently got a touchdown and, uh, and no extra point or whatever. Or perhaps three field goals, I have no idea. At any rate, I think the final score of that game was 9 nothing. So, by gosh, the Trojans just have to play a little bit harder. It seems like we, we didn't play with the same intensity that we played games 3, 4, and 5. And uh, it showed up tonight as we just didn't have what it takes to hold these guys down at Wagner with another tremendous night for his Juniata Indians. And uh, UD with some good uh, moments during the ball game, but just uh, too few and too far between. So we'll collect ourselves and get it ready for those Buffaloes of Newport next week at home. And uh, we'll see you then. So good night from Dietrich Field here at Juniata. Final score again, uh, Juniata Indians 35, the UDA Trojans 20. <laughs>